What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googleicious for all the Google goodness that we can pack inside of a show. Let's get to it. And a new report says Google is planning to launch a new Android TV platform at Google I.O. in the end of June. Now, the report says it will be a revamped vision of their current Google TV platform that fell flat on its face, but this time it will focus on online media content and Android gaming instead of focusing on existing pay TV services. The goal is to be a software platform that TV manufacturers can use to add streaming services to their televisions. Google has been making deals with the usuals like Netflix and Hulu, and Android TV is expected to officially replace the Google TV name and coexist with the Chromecast that's still their standalone hardware product. Also, T-Mobile's Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 are the first to the party for the over-the-air Android 4.4.3 software update. It's not a major update, and the main focus is to fix bugs like improved camera focus, data dropping issues, random reboots, and some security patches. Now, if you're a little impatient, and you gotta have it now, Google has released the factory images for those of you who wanna manually flash their Nexus devices. The update supports the 2013 Nexus 5 and 7, the Wi-Fi Nexus 10, the Wi-Fi Nexus 7 from 2012, and the Nexus 4. All right, there aren't too many cosmetic changes, but the Dialer app also gets a refreshed interface with lighter colors of blue, black, gray, and white, and follows a recent trend of Google bringing back colors to its apps. In another report, Google Search is poised to get always on listening and improved car functionality, according to a report from Android Police. You'll be able to say, OK, Google, to activate Google Now, even when the device is turned off, as long as it's plugged into a power source. You'll also be able to wave your hand over the device like a Jedi to wake it up, and you'll be able to communicate to the phone to read you the weather or tell you sports scores from Google Now cards. It's similar to the stuff we've seen on the Moto X with Google's own tweaks, and Google is referring to this feature set as Kit in reference to the amazing car in the Knight Rider series that was almost as amazing as David Hasselhoff's hair. All right, Google continues to support their big vision projects, and a Wall Street Journal article says the Googs is planning to spend $1 billion to expand and bring internet access to unwired regions of the world with a fleet of satellites. The premise is that Google will start with 180 small, high-capacity satellites that will orbit at lower altitudes and will be led by Greg Wilder, who recently joined Google and founded satellite communication startup O3B Networks. Now, we've told you about their similar project called Project Loon that uses balloons in hopes to provide internet access everywhere, and the two are most likely related or working together in some capacity. All right, guys, so the quick hits. Chromebooks are making a push into nine new markets, including New Zealand, the Philippines, Norway, Denmark, Mexico, Chile, Belgium, Spain, and Italy. The Chromebooks available will vary by location, but offerings from Acer, HP, and Toshiba will be part of the first wave of the launch. And the Chromecast continues to expand its library of content with Watch, ESPN, and Major League Soccer being the two big sport offerings. Crunchyroll Video and Google Plus Photos and Videos are on there as well. And guys and gals, this is a story that I just love. Police in Edinburgh, Scotland were called out to investigate a scene of a crime after someone using Google Street View thought they had spotted an axe murderer. Yes, this is a real story. The scene turned out to be a prank by two friends who saw the car coming and had 20 seconds to think of something to do. So now Google Street View has the distinction of capturing people going to the bathroom, snorkelers on the road, a bear on the loose, and a murder scene. The world is a beautiful place. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. Email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week for some more of that Googleicious. Goodlicious.